the Up Up Coast Studios in Oklahoma City. This is an OSU update. I'm Jenny Carlson. Gina Mizell joins us on the phone. And Gina, you had a unique experience earlier this week. You got hypnotized. Tell us about <laughs> that and why did you get hypnotized? Um, it was interesting, I'll say that. Um, yeah, I got hypnotized from my story uh, in today's uh, paper, actually, about um, Paige Wacker, who is um, a, a certified hypnotherapist who, uh, who works with um, a lot of uh, Oklahoma State teams and athletes, uh, most notably uh, Brandon Whedon, who is the guy that I uh, talked to for this story. And so um, in doing my reporting um, for that, uh, I, I talked to her on Tuesday, and uh, I was asking her just to kind of explain what, what she did with, with athletes or really anyone that came in. And she was like, well, in order to, I think, fully experience it or, or to fully report on it, you need to experience it. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'm down for that. And so, yeah, I got, I got hypnotized uh, yesterday, and it was uh, definitely interesting. And, um, you know, it, it's definitely not what you would uh, – the, the stereotype as far as, you know, there was no swinging pocket watch, and I didn't, you know, bark like a dog or do anything super crazy. It was more just about uh, – you know, getting into a super um, relaxed state and kind of uh, shutting down your, you know, your conscious mind is, is the idea, quieting that part of your mind and kind of dipping into your um, subconscious and, and, you know, taking the negative thoughts out and putting positive thoughts in and, and that sort of thing. So, yeah, it was interesting. I was in a trance for um, probably about 20 to 25 minutes, um, but I remember everything. Um, I didn't feel weird. I just felt super relaxed and... Um, yeah, I slept pretty good last night, so <laughs> if nothing else, I got a good night's sleep out of it and felt uh, super relaxed to uh, write my story for today's paper. Well, Gina, you talk about your experience, but how does this relate for these athletes? You talk about Brandon Whedon, there's some other uh, current Cowboy football players who've done this, athletes on other teams. Why do they do it? What benefits do they see? Well, I think it's, it's about what I just said, um, as far as you know, taking the negative thoughts out and putting positive thoughts in. And, and basically how uh, Paige described it was um, visual visualization on steroids. I mean, pretty much any athlete, especially at, at this level, um, you know, does some sort of visualization, uh, you know, before a game or, or even maybe, you know, during a game, you know, uh, vis visualizing themselves making a big play, winning the game, kind of feeling like you've already won before you've even showed up to the game. Um, but it's just kind of learning how to really tap into that and, and really just take all the negative thoughts out and, um, you know, just only visioning, visualizing good things um, happening and then kind of backtracking of, of how you get to that point. So, um, again, it's, it's nothing, like, I don't think super revolutionary, but it's just kind of, again, another way to just really relax your mind, um, you know, really um, just get your mind in the right place and get into the right uh, mental state to, uh, to go play, a, you know, a, a stressful thing for, for these athletes. I mean, you know, playing in front of, uh, 60,000 fans, uh, it can be stressful. And when you're playing quarterback, uh, you know, it, it, can be, uh, it can be hard at times. And so just kind of knowing how to get to, to that mental state to playing games. But, yeah, Whedon's won. Um, A.D. French, uh, the, the great goalkeeper for the, for the Cowgirl soccer team, is, is another person who um, she said she listens to those tapes uh, or MP3s, I guess, um, all, all the time, whether it's, you know, before a game or even, like, in between classes and she kind of seems to relax and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, her, her, her work uh, it has gone across multiple, uh, multiple teams. But, um, you know, again, it's, it's one of those things where it probably doesn't work for everyone um, or works in different, different ways. But um, certainly uh, didn't hurt Brandon Whedon's success. And um, he felt it really helped him. And uh, some other cowboy and cowgirl athletes have thought it helped them as well. All right. Great stuff, Gina. Thanks so much. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.